dear student you must know this if diodes are in the forward biased condition it allows the flow of current but however it offers some particular resistance for the flow of current that particular resistance is called as forward resistance if it is connected in the reverse bias direction then it offers very high resistance for the flow of current and of course that that resistance is called as reverse resistance usually diode will have marked forward resistance and marked reverse resistance and it is usually defined by the manufacturer of the diode however the question is based on that look at this dear students if the current through this 3 ohm resistance is 2 ampere you are asked to find out ix let me read the questions if the diodes have forward resistance of 4 ohm then ix is equal to option a 1.5 option b 2 ampere option c 3 ampere and option d is 1 ampere is a typical J level question. Look at this dear students. Here we have 2 amperes of current flowing through this. Right. So, if this is 2 ampere, this will be 1 ampere. How can you say that? Because this is 3 ohm, this is 6 ohm. Current should be in the reverse ratio or the in the opposite ratio of the resistances. Inverse ratio of the resistances. Resistance ratio is 1 is to 2, current ratio should be 2 is to 1. So, this is 3 ohm, 2 ampere. Therefore, 6 ohm, it must be 1 ampere. Now, if this is 2 ampere, this is 1 ampere, sum of the current must be equal to 3 ampere. Do you agree with me? And this is 4 ohm, this is 4 ohm, this is total 8 ohm. Do you agree with me? This is 8 ohm, the combination will give us 8 ohm. You can just replace diode by a small resistance of 4 ohm. You have 4 ohm here connected in series with 4. Similarly, this 4 is connected with 4. So, this is 8 and this is 8. Do you agree with me dear students? So, this is 8 ohm, this is 8 ohm. What is 8 parallel 8? What is 8 ohm parallel 8 ohm? 8 ohm parallel 8 ohm will give us 4 ohms. So, therefore, now we have got a new circuit this which has got 4 ohm resistor connected like this. To this we have one more connection of 4 ohm. Is it correct? So, this is 4 ohm, this is 4 ohm. This combination will give us one more 4 ohm. So, each this is 4 and assume that you have one more 4 ohm here. Therefore, this 3 ampere must be divided into two equal part. That is here 1.5 ampere should go and to this 1.5 ampere should move. Or here you can say this is 0 0.75 ampere and this is 0 0.75 ampere. For this problem these two are not required but still I am explaining because 1.5 which is coming here to parallel to this. That parallel is combination of these two and these two are equal to each other. Therefore, this is 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.75. These two values are not required for us but what is actually required is this 1.5 ampere. The question is what is Ix? Ix is 1.5 ampere. Therefore, option A is correct. I hope dear students you have understood this. The logic is very very simple. We are using the ratio of the resistance is inversely proportional to the ratio of the currents. Now let us discuss next problem. The problem is like this. Masses of 3 copper wires are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 and their lengths are in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 1. Ratio of their electrical resistance is option A 1 is to 3 is to 5, option B 5 is to 3 is to 1, option C 1 is to 15 is to 125, 
ऑप्शन डी 125 ट्वेंटी फाइव इज टू फिफ्टीन इज टू वन students you must know this r is equal to rho l by a this is a familiar formula to you if you expressed area in terms of volume do you agree with me that is equal to rho l by volume by l do you agree with me a into l is v therefore v by l is equal to a therefore r is equal to rho l square by v is that correct and you must also know this dear students density is given by density d is given by mass per volume is that correct r volume is equal to mass over density now using this what we can say is r is equal to r is equal to rho l square in place of v let me write m into d is it correct but for a given set of wires or given material density is always fixed just like resistivity of a material is always fixed density is also fixed so r is equal to rho l square d by m you can say r is proportional to l square by m with this introduction we can easily understand this question what is the question here r1 masses of three copper wires are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 lengths are in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 1 now we have r is proportional to l square by m therefore we can write r1 is to r2 is to r3 is equal to straight away we can write because the ratio while taking ratio the constants gets cancelled straight away i am writing l1 square by m1 is to l2 square by m2 is to l3 square by m3 using this what we can say is l1 square by m1 l2 square by m2 l3 square by m3 so l1 l2 l3 ratio is lengths are in the ratio 5 3 1 length squares are in the ratio 25 9 1 is it correct l1 square l2 square l3 square m1 m2 m3 are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 by 1 3 5 now i can complete the ratio right this is 3 3 is a 9 so now multiply by 3 5 throughout you will get 125 is to 15 is to 1 got it dear students r1 is to r2 is to r3 is multiply by 5 125 is to 15 is to 1 125 is to 15 is to 1 option d is correct